Yo, 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 what is up guys? Hope you guys are doing well. And in today's video, I'm going to be sharing with you the exact method I use to find profitable businesses to put my ATM machines in. It's super simple. You guys can just follow along. I use Google. Um, it doesn't take too much out of your time and it just helps me weed out uh, businesses that I don't waste my time reaching out to when I know it probably isn't going to be worth my while. So before we get into the video, make sure you smash that like button, subscribe if you guys haven't already. We just hit 2,000. Um, 3,000 is next and I can't wait until we hit that. So without further ado, let's get into the video oh one more thing disregard my closet door um we're changing the door so if that distract you sorry about that so getting into the video the first thing you're going to want to do is you're going to want to find a niche so whether you want to get into barbershops weed dispensaries hotels motels whatever it may be just find a niche because if you're looking at multiple different niches it can get overwhelming so for my example today i'm going to stick with barbershops so all you're gonna want to do is type in barbershops near me onto Google. These will pull up all the barbershops near you essentially. And what I like to do is I like to look for barbers that have over 150 reviews. Now the reason I look for 150 reviews plus is because it indicates that the business is well known. People take their time out to review the business and they have foot traffic essentially. So going through all of these businesses, I found one which was Skull and Thrones Hair Society. Now this one had over 400 reviews, 5 point on rating, and and this is just an amazing business um, and I can see they have a lot of foot traffic coming in here so once you find a potential business all you're gonna want to do what I like to do actually is I open up their website in a new tab and I open up their photos in a new tab as well once you have that open what I like to do first is look at their photos now the reason I look at their photos is because they're essentially gonna take pictures of their whole property right and if there is an ATM on the premise you premises you can see exactly if there is one so you don't waste your time reaching out to them when they already have have an ATM there so I'm just gonna scroll through these real quick um, from the looks of it it looks like they don't have an ATM Yep, it looks pretty empty, no ATM, so this is a potential business I can work with. So once you see that they don't have an ATM, what I like to do is go straight to their website. And what I do at their website is I just review it just to make sure everything is clean and they know what they're doing. And you know, from the looks of everything, it is a potential I want to work, potential business I want to work with. Once I see that it is a business I want to work with, what I'll do is I'll go to their contact us page. Now every website has one, you just have to find it. Now there's three ways you guys can go about with the contact us page one you can call them two you can email them or three you can dm them on their social media handles so if you guys would like i'm going to be leaving the exact script i use for email phone call everything down in the link below is completely free it's going to be a google doc so if you guys want to use that feel free to do that um, i just hope it'll help you guys as well so what you guys can do first is call them um, call them you can use my script you can go about that way or email them um, so out of my whole experience uh, what i find to be the most useful is you know, where you can land businesses is one calling them two would be email and dm is like pretty much last i barely get any responses with dm because usually it's other businesses handling their social media or they don't check it as much so those are the three but the thing i never talked about is something that beats calling them which is actually going into the business and talking to them personally now the amount of returns i've seen going in is crazy i've actually called the business and went and talked to them maybe like a month later and he said yes just basically me going and talking to them or when he said no over the phone so um for me going and talking to them has tremendous amounts of return it could be different for each each of you guys because every business is different so for me actually going and talking to them has a better return so those are the three ways you guys can actually reach out to the business um like i said i'll leave the script i used to in the link below um you guys can copy that if you guys want and hopefully it helps you guys the next thing i do is i actually make a google sheet so the reason i make one is because you're going to be going through all of these you know different barbers and you know over 10 pages on google you know you want to stay organized so what i'll do is um i just wrote over here with my exact skulls and your barber exactly what it is and but depending on what I do, I'll just write DM. If I call them, I'll say called. And if I actually went into person, I'll say went in just so i stay organized so um if i don't do something you know obviously i won't have it so let's say i just dm them i'll just put dm and let's say later on down the road i see that they didn't reply maybe i'll call them maybe i'll go in person just for me to stay organized with all these different barbers so i mean that's pretty much it for how i find businesses um it's a super simple method and it works a lot for me well just think about it there's over 10 pages and and you're also weeding out a lot of the competition so like there's a lot of barbers that don't have over 150 reviews and you're not wasting your time with them this is just one way that you can find potential businesses to put
put your ATMs in. So what I do is I don't base it just off this as well. What I'll do is actually I'll go into the business and talk to them and see if it is worth my while to putting it in there because you know the business owner will know exactly how many people will use ATM and they know the business better. Um, also, one more thing I wanted to show you guys was some places actually say if it is cash only or not. So this is one that I found. It's a barbershop and it says it's cash only. Now all of them don't do that. It all depends on the business. Um, so this one actually says it. And if you can find businesses that say this, it's amazing because it, they're essentially saying it's cash only and they might or might not have an ATM. Just follow the method I did to see if they do or they don't or you can just simply call and ask them now if you can get atm into one of these places it will be a jackpot because as you can see right here they are cash only so um with that being said yeah that's all i just wanted to make a quick video for you guys on what i like to do um like i said if you i, I highly recommend you guys stay organized like this and if you guys want to use my scripts i'll just leave it in the link below but with that being said thank you guys so much for watching today's video if you found this video useful anyway just Please subscribe, like if you guys haven't already, and I'll see you guys in the next video. Peace.